Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another reaction video. Now, I was supposed to upload a 2K16 video, but for some reason, my computer... I got a new... Uh, I got a new capture card. I got my first ever capture card. And it, when I was recording on OBS, it said encoding overload and the, the video was ruined. The video was ruined, so that sucks, but... I mean, I have to make some something. I have to make some video. So, I watched EA play, and what do you know? The first thing announced was Apex... I keep hitting my mic. It was an Apex Legends new event. Now, we all knew a new event was going to come out. It's actually coming out on my birthday, June 23rd. But there's a lot more. But first, we'll watch the event trailer. But they announced two really big things coming to Apex that will affect the game. Ginormously. Ginormously? That's a word. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe. We got NBA content basically daily with like I upload Apex every Wednesday. We'll just say that I upload Apex every Wednesday with the quest. When the quest or the story PvE mode is over, I'll just use Wednesdays as you know Apex gameplays. Like you'll see more gameplays, wins, and all that crap. You get the gist of it. But without further ado, let's get into this trailer. Adventurers. Raiders, explorers, they risk everything in such a fame, fortune, and answers. I just want to say, these skins are dope as all you hell. Find what they're looking for. Especially that Revenant one. But if they survive, they might walk away with lost treasures. When all goes dark, you'll just be... They didn't show this on the event. They showed this. Hey, thanks. I owe you one. <laughs> guns, guns. There's a new Mirage heirloom. I know what I'm looking for. I won't walk away without it. Don't charge your car. There it is. Season 5 Fortune's Favor. T, it's me. Be careful. He's watching you. And the first vault, or whatever you want to call it, will open up. Oh boy! And then that's it, just as Lost Treasures. First vault's gonna open up, and Crypto's drone, like people said, talks. Oh, I. T, it's me. Be careful. He's I'm pretty sure you. that's the drone. But before we start, first of all, we already know the skins. Let's start off with the new location. What, it, what is it called? Cryptos something? It, it said it somewhere. We'll figure it out. Uh, that skin's eh. Not a big fan of it. But, okay, I don't want to see a close-up on your face. It's not going to show it. Uh, we'll skip towards... The thing about his, um, we'll see at the end, but I think it can be activated probably once. And I'm pretty sure you might be able to scan the entire map or a certain location of the map to see where enemies are. That's huge. That's that's something else right there. The new event, Armed and Dangerous. It's snipers, shotguns only, but with Evo armor. I want to show mobile respawn beacons. This will be first in the new mode. I guess that's what they're going to test it out. But when you spawn into the, when you start the game, you'll have every teammate will have one of these. This is gonna, you know, change the pace of the game and just change the game altogether. So I don't know how I feel about the mobile respawn beacons. Limited time event, cosmetics, the skins look amazing. I don't I don't see a Loba skin though. Why does Bloodhound get this is also Mirage. Lifeline is getting a huge buff here. Where she deploys her drones and you can just respawn yourself. Not respawn, revive yourself. So that's interesting. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I'm not sure if that's her new um, tactical ability. Maybe they got rid of the heal. I don't know what this is. But it's interesting. This might be a new tactical ability or something. I actually don't know. 
I, I don't wouldn't consider this a passive. Maybe this is a pa passive. It, no, her passive's healing quicker. I don't know what this is. I think it might be a new tactical ability, which is actually a lot more useful than the healing drone itself. Setting down healing. Being able for your squad mates to revive themselves while Lifeline can actually still fight. That's huge. So if that's her tactical, that's really, really good. Then we got the new um, Mirage. Let me know this. We got the new Mirage um, Heirloom. What a great screenshot. Got the new Mirage Heirloom. It is a statue of himself. If you remember the Season 3 trailer, you saw the statue there. He can actually, like, the animation for it, he pulls on it and it talks. Here's the new server room, map room, whatever the hell it's called. Um, enemy squads, two, then it goes down to one. Then, he scans. This is looks like the entire map. Yeah, because there's the rig. There's Repulsor. Here's the actual location for um, Crypto, which is that little town near Repulsor. And then he uses it. It looks like he scans the entire map and he sees the enemies over there. So that's interesting. Then obviously you see all this. And then the vault opens up. So besides that, not too much, but a lot of great stuff. Now I'm going to go to the actual live stream for the big, big news. All right, here we go, guys. This is it. That's not all Apex fans. The battle is expanding. That's right. This fall we're bringing Apex, Apex is Legends coming to Steam. Steam. That was already, you know, released. Know we already know it's coming to Steam, praying. which is awesome. So before you ask, but yeah, crossplay is coming to Apex. Crossplay is coming this it's fall. It's one of the biggest requests we get. But I'm thrilled to finally deliver. Crossplay is coming. There's one more big thing. I still get chills. What am I forgetting? Oh yeah, one last thing. Let's make it official. Apex Legends is coming to Switch, boys. Apex is coming to Switch. I'm not sure how it's going to run on Switch. Probably going to like hot dog booty cheeks. But it's coming to Switch, which is awesome. Because I own a Switch. I, since Crossway's a thing, my main Switch account will actually have my original Apex account. And I guess I'll have a Smurf account to play. Um, but wow, this is actually amazing. A Ever since Apex released, people were talking about Crossplay. They should have Crossplay this and that. They finally, this fall, will have crossplay, which is huge for Apex. This is such a monumental step for Apex, seeing that Fortnite has crossplay. And I'm not sure any other Battle Royale, except for Warzone and that, have crossplay. So Apex Legends is running with the big dogs right now with crossplay, which is huge. Nintendo Switch, Fortnite's on the Switch. I believe that's Realm Royale, Fortnite, and Apex are all on the Switch now for Battle Royale games. And I think that's it. So, big things are going on with Apex. And we're incredibly excited. And that's really it. June 23rd, the new event starts. Sometime in the fall. I'm guessing maybe September, October. Hopefully not November, but that's when Crossplay will come out. I have a feeling it's going to be September. I think it's going to be late September, early October. Crossplay and Switch will come out. So, this is huge for Apex. That's going to be it for me. There's really not much else to react to. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Leave a like if you guys are excited. For crossplay, Apex coming to Switch, and the new event, which I will be either live streaming it or making I'll probably make a video on it, to be honest here. But that's gonna be it for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy, subscribe if you guys are new. GG.